In this session, we'll look at some Civil 3D 2018 improvements associated with cleaning up the bow ties that sometimes occur in corridor daylighting. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a proposed roadway model. Let me zoom in a little bit. As you can see, the horizontal and vertical geometry that I'm using, as well as the flatness of my daylighting, is causing some bow ties here on the inside corners of this roadway. Let's pan this back over. Now historically, a bow tie like this might be removed by creating a new region in this area. We might then delete the daylighting and add a grading object or some feature lines. Now using Civil 3D 2018, we can clean up bow ties like this with just a couple clicks of the mouse. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by selecting the corridor and then in the corridor tools panel, I'll launch the new clear corridor bow ties command. I will then select the alignment leading into the bow tie area and leading out of it. This gives me a rubber banding jig. The point that I'm holding at my cursor represents the point that I'd like to use to solve the daylighting. For example, I'm going to click right here and I'll press enter. I will then press escape to deselect and you can see how all of those daylight links are now tied to that solution point, thus eliminating the bow tie. Let's fix another. I'm going to pan the drawing over. Once again, I'll select the corridor and then I'll launch the clear corridor bow ties command. I will select the alignment leading into and out of the bow tie area. You can see that direction doesn't matter. I will then pull out and I will click to define my solution point. Notice I'm still in the command. At this point, I can press enter to correct this bow tie. Since I still have another, I'm going to come down and use the specify another bow tie option. I will then pan the drawing over and I'll select the alignment leading into and out of this one. I will then pull down to find my solution point and I'll press enter. I will then press escape to deselect, and if I back up, you can see that both of these bow ties have been corrected. Now it's important to note that the solution points are dynamic to the corridor model. For instance, if I select my alignment and pull this out, you can see how that point is held. If I drag this back over, you can see that since that point is held, if you make significant changes to the corridor model, you may want to recorrect this area. Let me press escape. To fix this, we'll start by restoring the bow tie. I'll do that by selecting the corridor, and in the corridor tools panel, I'm going to use the restore corridor bow ties command. If I back up, you can see right here is the first corridor bow tie that I restored in this model. I'm going to use the skip option to go down to the end, and then I'll press enter to restore that bow tie. I will then press escape. We will then recorrect the area. I'll select the corridor. I'll choose the clear corridor bow ties option. I'll select the alignment leading into and out, and then I'll pick my solution point and I'll press enter. Let me zoom in. Let's talk for a second about the elevation of the solution point. If I hover close by, you can see that the elevation of my existing ground surface is approximately 94.21. That happens to be the surface that I'm daylighting to. If I type ID and I grab the end point of these daylight links, you'll see that they have the same elevation. Now that I've finished correcting my bow ties, I'm going to zoom out and we'll center this drawing on screen. So the next time you encounter a bow tie in your daylighting, consider using the new clear corridor bow ties feature. It just might be the fastest way to clean up issues with corridor daylight grading. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.